Good morning, everybody. It's early, early again. Um, I started to do a pre-read for you, Saggies, and <clears throat> we needs to talk. So I don't know if I'm going to use tarot today or not. So for those of you that don't want to sit and listen, um, I may not do a tarot reading for you. We needs to talk here. Um, it was on my mind here. These are messages from Spirit today. Now, what's coming through are so many different messages that I can't even begin to relay them all through tarot without doing like a extra long, huge, huge video. So I'm going to just say it. I'm going to speak it today. Hope everybody doesn't mind. Don't get offended. If it's not for you, just click off and move along. Um, we needs to talk because I've been reading all the comments and stuff and many Saggies are um, indeed they're moving on, they're healing, they're going on with their lives, etc. These messages may not resonate for those Sagittarians. Um, the messages that are coming through Okay, Sagis, gots to make some type of decision. You gotta protect what you have worked for. Sagis, some Sagis, without knowing it, are refusing the gifts that the universe is trying to give you. Now, I don't want to come off as I know it all guys I'm just here to relay the messages so please if you're offended easily do not listen to this video um, this is for the Sagittarians who cannot figure out why uh, they're not getting their blessings why these things aren't happening and that's because without you even knowing it you're rejecting what the universe is trying to offer you. And the only reason I'm telling you this is because you're highly favored by the universe. They want to give you these gifts. They want to see you abundant. They want to see you rejoicing and celebrating and having fun. But Sagis, I've been reading it in the comments. Every day I get my ass out of bed to do your uh, reads. And they've been so many positive uh, messages and blessings. And then in the comments, I'll hear things like, Oh, it'll never happen for me. Many of you are worried about black magic. Many of you are worried about that it'll never happen for you. Um, I got to tell you right now, if that's your thoughts, it is never going to happen for you. I don't want to offend anybody. But if you woke up today and you got out of bed, you've been blessed. Now, you've got to stop living in illusion fantasy it's okay to dream dream your dreams but how do you bring them into fruition <sighs> you can't speak negatively when the universe every day every single day will do a past a present and a future they're showing you what the potential is, what you can achieve. And then people go, uh, well, it'll never happen for me. Or wondering about the powers of what spells. Why are you focusing in on that spirit want, like to know? 
If you believe in the power of the universe, if you believe in the power of the Almighty, you have no reason to think about it, to worry about it. You have to claim the authority over your life. Spirit is ready to be your dread angels, to offer you whatsoever it is that you want. You want love? Or do you want to be burdened and facing all these battles? Or do you want to be happy? Do you want to focus on uh, people, the devil? Or do you want to focus on the universe? the Almighty, what he wants to give you. People, it's a trick. This is That's why the trickster is here. That is the old trickster that we all are familiar with. When the universe tries to offer you blessings, you reject them, whether you know it or not, by focusing in on negativity, when you focus in on the pain, the suffering, the uh, poverty card, the lack, the instead of focusing in on your abundance that the universe wants to offer you, you subliminally are rejecting it. You're at the greatest manifestation period of all for Sag. It's a choice. Do you want to be sad or do you want to be happy? You decide. You want to work with spirit or do you want to work with work with spirit? Or work with the other half. It's that simple. And that's why I'm not doing another read. I don't want to see that person's face. Thank you. Guys, when you focus in on uh, spells, they exist. There's people out there that do this. But don't focus in on it. Focus in on spirit. Don't focus in on what that energy is trying to pull off. Focus in on what spirit is trying to offer you. Spirit is trying to form an alliance with you. To gift you something. And this attitude in this card is not of gratitude. The energy in this card, which is the Four of Cups, you can see the universe... Uh, trying to offer this individual something and they're too busy looking at all the other cups instead of what the universe is trying to offer them and when you say things like um, somebody put a spell on me or it exists so my question to those individuals is what are you doing about it are you just accepting it or are you going to accept what the universe is trying to offer you? When we focus, that's why I hate in the comments when people talk about spell work and they talk about what they didn't get and when they talk about um, what they should have and then people even get demanding, well, when is this new love coming in? I want to know the month, the date, the year. You know what? It's never coming if you adapt that attitude because you do not have an attitude of gratitude. And I'm not saying it to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm saying it because I want you to be able to get it. Now, if we focus in on the negativity, if we focus in on what... Uh, 
I don't even want to say it, guys. Like, don't put in the comments when you've just received a blessing, then you get demanding of the universe. Let me tell you, the universe owes you nothing. I'm not praying for people to win the lottery. I am not praying for people to receive like a lump sum of cash. I'm not praying. Uh, the universe owes you nothing. Absolutely nothing. When you have an attitude of gratitude and you turn your nose up at what's being tried to be offered to you, the universe is going to give you that wish. Nothing. They'll give you nothing. So I'm trying to tell you how it is that you can manifest the things that you want. You have to have the attitude of gratitude. You have to know the universe doesn't owe you a damn thing. Nothing. You know, people get angry and they say, well, who, what, when, where, how, why? When am I getting it? When am I getting it? That's demanding of the universe. <laughs> That's not an attitude of gratitude. So the answer is no, you won't get it with that attitude. If you take on the attitude of gratitude and you say, you know, I'm really grateful, Spirit, that I just was able to sleep last night. I was able to get my ass out of bed, face my challenges, you're doing good works. And when you do good works, it slowly manifests into your life. The things that you want, the finances you want, the love that you want. It's having the attitude that you have already received it. So, Spirit's like, okay, I come along, I offered you something. You turned your nose up at it by focusing in on darkness, on what, uh, you know, spell work. When you've got the Almighty offering you a gift, we don't see it, we don't understand it. Been there, done it. Just saying, guys. Like, I'm really ticked that people, when they see every single day, a reader will come on and they'll do a past, present, future, and pe people go, well, when? And they want to know the month, they want to know the date, they want to know this. Universe will change their mind in a split second, in a blink, blink of an eye. Why do you deserve it? You're not deserving of it. If the universe decides to grant you this, what you're trying to manifest, they will gladly give it to you. Hand it to you on a silver platter. But when you're sitting there and you're focusing in on uh, all you can think about is spell work, evildoers and what they did you delay your gift so for a tarot reader to sit and give you a time frame that's why it can't be because we have uh, free will to choose when we manifest these things if you are adapting the attitude of gratitude you're going to speed up the process it's that simple when you stop focusing in on um, this character <clears throat> and thinking this character has more power than this character who do you want to choose who would you choose I'm choosing this one this one can take a flying leap it has no authority in my life and you know something um, I get more emails, more personal reads, comments about this character than I do this character. That's why I'm addressing it. 
it's not to be, um, you know, I'm not going to be popular today by doing this read or this talk or whatever you want to call it, but it needs to be said because I truly want to deliver you what the universe has to give you. When I do your reads and it shows this side and it shows this side, you're preventing those gifts from coming through by focusing in on the other character, the negativity of uh, the, uh, some of you, it's actually uh, magic and stuff like that, that people have done to you. They have no authority over your life unless you allow it. And um, I'm personally getting tired of answering those questions about it. Like it's good for knowledge and I'll, that's why I'm doing this read today. Because, or this talk, whatever you want to call it, because we need to know. You're holding up your fortune. <clears throat> You're holding up the process of getting the good news that the universe wants to hand you. You've been heartbroken, you've been wounded. The universe is aware of that. But don't refuse this gift that the universe wants to give you. It's like a, a father will not refuse their child anything that they ask. They Hope, wish, make your wish, but don't allow the negativity, don't allow the, will you accept the offer? Or are you mistrustful of it? Like the universe is trying to grant it to you, but by uh, the comments that I'm getting, not all, some got this straight up. Do you want this passionate in the beginning? Do you want the offer that the universe, and then I'll have people say, the re all tell me all the reasons why they're not going to get it. Well, that's what you're going to get. Nothing. You'll be living in pain. Do you want it? No. Take the blessing, the wheel of fortune. Don't pay any mind, any attention to these uh, frickin' spells. They got no authority over you. This is the truth. You have the victory. Nobody removed the universe off their throne. They are the powerful. They are the almighty. Cut this bullshit out. Claim your victory. It's the truth. You want to team up with the universe or do you want to focus in what some hocus pocus asshole wanted to hand you. Who do you serve? Who do you want to serve? It's that simple, guys. Who do you want? Do you want to take this offer? I don't know. Gotta stop talking. Do you want the reward? Or don't you? But no, the universe doesn't owe you squat. I'm telling you, this is the truth. You're wounded. Some people adapt the attitude, well, I was hurt, so I'm deserving. No. No, you're not. Same as everybody else. <clears throat> well, I've been sad, and I've been wounded. The universe knows that, but the universe didn't put you there. You know what I mean? You put yourself there. Well, it's coming too slow. These are all the things we tell ourselves. It's coming too slow. I want, and then people get demanding, I want to, to, to know when. I'm not a fortune teller, buddies. Straight up, I'm no fortune teller. I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't even waste my breath on it. I, you know how many personal readings I turned down due to those reasons? <laughs> they get angry. They go like, it's too slow. I demand to know why I'm not getting my blessings. 
I'm like, demand away. See how it works for you. <laughs> yeah, look at this. It's too slow, so fuck it. You know, it's never coming to me. You put a halt to your own blessings. And I'm doing this for you today to teach you how you can get this offer and you keep thinking and thinking and thinking about it. Well, it's not coming. It's not coming. Sure as hell it's not because you'll just set yourself up for a tower. How are you going to get it? Almighty. The Almighty. Only way. The Almighty. Get illuminated to the truth. That's how you get your blessings, your rewards. You're not getting it through a tarot card reader. You're not getting it even if I was, oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you, Joe Blow is going to get it in the month of October. Joe Blow is going to get it in the month of February, the month of May. You're never going to get it if you keep entertaining the fucking toxic motherfuckers that you've had in your life. And it's that simple. The universe did not tell you to go with Joe Blow. The universe did not tell you. Uh, in fact, the universe uh, probably warned you not to go in that direction. That's the truth. You made your choices, you made your decisions, and then you want the universe to bail your ass out after you've been wounded. This applies to anybody. I should just do this as a collection because you know what? I've had people say to me, um, I'm not going to name the zodiac sign, but for like two weeks I've been doing reads of all the blessings that are coming in. And some people are right all over that. They're like, hell yeah, I'm ready for this blessing. Hell yes. And they claim it. And then other ones are like, we'll see. Well, the ones that are going, we'll see. You ain't seen it. Because you don't believe that the universe is going to give it. And the universe has nothing to prove to you. Nothing. You're not, you know, people have a sense of entitlement. I've been hurt, so I deserve this. No, you don't. You don't deserve nothing. You block your blessings when you have that attitude. You have to, like, be appreciative. Take control of the situation. If you want forward movement. If you want the rewards, you got to take the axe. You got to bring it into fruition. As a tarot card reader, I could sit here all day and I could tell you, well, you're going to get this and this day and this day. That's not how it works, guys. It's up to us. Each individual, what we get, what we are trying to manifest. <laughs> but we block our blessings. We put an end to the victory, the success, and the blessings and the rewards by our own thoughts, by our own actions. If you wake up every single day of your life miserable, misery creates misery. We have no excuse. You have to work for it. We have to work for it. If you want to, things to calm out in your life and run smooth in your life, that's the way we have to. If you want that soulmate, if you want to team up with the universe to get this soulmate, a tarot card reader cannot tell you uh, 
shouldn't tell you anyway when you're going to get it. I mean, it's if you want this stability, if you want this um, success, these pentacles, you know, I'm not praying for people who are wishing for the lottery. You know, if I could have um, wished for that, I'd be winning the lottery myself, sorry to say. But I don't worry about money. I don't worry about money. Spirit's going to give me the money if I need the money. And people are worrying about the tower. Worrying about, well, it'll all come crashing down. Every time I go and I manifest something, something happens and the tower hits. So that you see the truth. Spirit wants to give you everything that you ask trying to offer it to you but you need to see the truth you're not entitled to anything we're entitled you know what the universe you block your blessings and the universe will cut it off because of entitlement we're not entitled to it we're entitled to work for it we're entitled to pray for it. We're entitled to manifest our, our dreams, our stability, our finances. But we keep blocking ourselves when we say it's, oh, I only have this. That's what you're going to get. If you tell yourself, I only have this little pentacle, that's all you're ever going to manifest. Hey, magician, you're at such a great manifestation period in, there's no magical time of when you can manifest. You can manifest every single day of the week. This is the great manifester. Do you want to manifest this? Or do you want to manifest the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles? Do you want to manifest love? What is it you're trying to manifest? Spirit is asking, what are you trying to manifest? You want love? I give you love. You want money? I'll give you money. It's our own selves. Knowing your value. The universe knows you're valuable. The universe wants to hand this to you on a silver platter. But we keep saying, oh, it'll never happen for me. You know, woe is me. Be strong in what you want to manifest. Be courageous in what you want to give. That's why I do. You know, guys, it's, it's amazing to me. Like, I don't sing publicly ever. If any of you know me from the beginning of these uh, videos that I've been putting on YouTube, and then I actually have people telling me, you sang too much. Did you get the message? Like, that's what we do to block our blessings. I come on there with positivity to show you what you can manifest. That's what tarot does. The possibility of what you can manifest. And you're worried about what song I sang. Or that I sang too much. Or I didn't sing enough. What the hell does that have to do with manifesting your blessings? Just saying. That's how we... <laughs> right? control freaks and they walk away from the message that the universe was trying to give they're all the clues when people get demanding demanding of me 
No, you're getting demanding of the universe. And the universe is like, hey, Betty, I owe you nothing. You fucked up your life. I owe you nothing. Universe gets. Nobody removed that person from their throne. Get enlightened. You know, when people ask, when is this coming? Who is coming? What is happening? I've already given the clues. I've already given the messages. I can't tell you countless, countless videos. See the truth. Cut out all the bullshit. You're so focused in on what I sang. Like, I sang too much. It's a little much. That's what I got people saying. It's a little much. I don't give a shit about my singing. It's not about my singing. I don't like singing. I don't even have to deliver the message. Seriously, you're getting too demanding. And if you're getting demanding of me, I know you're getting demanding of the universe. Do you want this passionate new beginning or not? Cut out the bullshit. I've been giving messages, clues, numbers, dates every single day. Were you listening? Do you want this happy family, this passionate new beginning, or don't you? Do you want the rewards? Then stop criticizing the reader who's trying to deliver the message. I'm delivering the message of good news. I'm not, I'm passionate about it, guys. I want you to get the rewards. Don't you worry one bit about my singing. And then today, somebody will come on there, well, they'll go, well, you didn't sing. I don't need a lecture. I got this. I Well, then why are you coming to tarot? You got to work for this shit, man. Just saying, you, you know, you got to put in the work. You can't get up in the morning to get this. What are you offering? Just wondering what you are offering. What are you offering the universe? Instead of all about, are you offering the universe happiness? Wonder. Comes around, goes around, guys. And I'm telling you, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Some of these I'll refuse. I'll turn my back on them and I won't even deliver the message because you know why? You're not ready to receive it. They're not, you got the access to the wheel of fortune. Now, many of you are turning your back on it, waiting for this to happen. You make it happen. You have to be putting in the work. Universe isn't just, oh, here you are, children. No, it doesn't work that way. Do you wake up in the morning and you say, thank you, spirit, for, uh, you know, I have the ability to get up in the morning and put a smile on my face? Or I woke up this morning and I go, I only have one pentacle. They off, I've even had people say the universe offered me nothing. Squat. The universe heard. You want the passion or not? Because the universe hears all your thoughts. All of your thoughts. And what you tell yourself is what you manifest. You block your blessings. Do you wake up with good news, cheerfulness, and say, you know, spirit, I'm really grateful I woke up this morning. I'm glad to be alive. I know I've gone through a lot of trouble and tribulation and it's that simple. Do you want good news or do you want to block your good news? And 
you know, it's up to us. Do you want wish fulfillment or do you want to be arrogant about it? The universe doesn't owe you nothing, guys. Work with the universe for this wish fulfillment. They want to give you pentacles. They want to see you confident. They want to see you talking positively to the universe. That uh, individual is right in connection with the universe. To get this abundance, being confident, working hand in hand with the universe to get these blessings, to get this abundance, this confidence. That's the only way it comes. It doesn't come because you just sit on your ass and uh, demand of a tarot card reader why you should have your blessings. When is it coming? Oh, I've listened to that for three months. It's never happening. That's a bunch of bullshit. That's what you're getting. A bunch of bullshit. Towers. What we tell ourselves, guys... Want to be greedy, selfish, arrogant, the tower will hit. That's what the messages are from the universe. And I'm not candy coating it. You're blocking your blessings. By what we tell ourselves. We sit there and we worry and we stress and we lay upon our beds grieving and stressing out about our lives but we're blocking our own blessings guys when you get to be my age you see all the crap that goes on in the world all the tower moments all the bullshit you'll learn real quick just to be grateful to be alive you feel grateful to wake up in the morning you feel grateful for the blessings you've already received, whatever they are. For me, my blessings have been all the lessons I've learned, the family that I have, my children, my grandchildren, my health. Um, I've been blessed. I've survived every damn tower that I put myself into. The universe didn't put me in there. The universe never left me. I've gone through isolation. I've been in hermit mode. Hell, I'm still in hermit mode. I don't care. I like it there. I'm grateful to be there. You know why? I get a chance to work with the universe. I get a chance to manifest. World's your oyster. I get to talk to you guys. I get to uh, <laughs> talk to my angels. They never left me. With all the stupid mistakes I've made in my life, my angels never left my side. They were hoping that I would one day just reach out to them and say, will you help? Teach me what I need to know to manifest for my life to reach my maximum potential, uh, guide me. They never left my side, not for a day. Nobody abandoned me. Not anybody that counts. <laughs> That's the good news. I, uh, I have great hope, great faith in that I've been through the experiences in my life for a reason. Learning to take control of my own destiny, my own happiness, my own uh, finances, whatever it is. How? By the attitude of gratitude. You know, I'm glad I'm alone right now, guys. I'm happy to be there so I can deliver you these messages. How you can achieve your wheel of fortune with these messages. I don't have to. Universe didn't say, Frankie, 
get your ass out of bed, deliver, well, they do, but that's because I was open to that. Because I know that I have some valuable information of how you can get this Wheel of Fortune. How you can make change in your life, guys. Instead of just living in a fantasy of illusion, of dreaming that this is not possible, it's possible. By just accepting where you are currently today, you're there for a reason, you know? Things will calm out, smooth out, or you can live in turmoil. But I don't buy into that, you know, it's that attitude. Defensiveness, it's... Can't manipulate or control the universe, guys. They control stuff. I don't control it. And when you get demanding of me... I'm like, cut this shit out. <laughs> Just saying. Most of you guys are awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm cutting this SOB right out of my life. I don't need that shit in my life, guys. You know, I don't worry about this character. I worry more about spirit. I don't have time to worry about that son of a bitch. Now I've done the, I've done reads on that about the karmics. I've done reads to try to pacify everybody in every situation. This son of a bitch has no place in my life. I don't want to focus my attention on it. Spell work and bullshit. Ah. I'm manifesting, dudes, and I hope you do too. Don't focus in on that uh, character. Trust me. <laughs> Look at this. Great hope, great faith. Wish upon a star and manifest your dreams. And for every individual, the month, the date is going to vary because we all have freedom to choose. Um, many people don't they're mistrustful of what's in the cup that the universe is trying to offer and that's why they delay their blessings you are mistrustful that the universe there's what's the trick to this what's the gig here you know I really don't trust uh, what uh what uh the universe is trying to hand me you know there's something fishy about that you know well delay fake it till you make it if you got to guys if you want to manifest otherwise there's something fishy i bet it's a trick it's gonna create another tower for me you create your own towers by your thoughts, by your actions, by those you chose to associate with. The passionate new beginning. The universe wants to offer it to you and people are going skeptics, you know? Skeptics, skeptics, skeptics. Why can't you just accept and you fight it? You fight me. I try every day to tell you guys your blessings and I get criticized literally i don't believe that that's not my story that'll never happen for me you fight your own blessings guys you're not fighting me because i don't really care what you guys opinion of me is i'm delivering messages from the universe so you cannot fight against me you're fighting yourself you're sitting there going, no, that'll never happen for me. Look, and you give all the reasons why it's not going to happen for you. You're fighting yourself. You're not fighting me. You're not fighting the universe. The 
the universe has already declared their victory and nobody removed the universe off their throne. You're creating your own burdens. You know? King of Pentacles. Do you want it? <laughs> the Ten of Wands was there with the King of Pentacles. Do you want these blessings or do you want blockages or... Right? Control. This dude, this emperor who rules the universe did not get removed from the throne. They're abundant. They got it all. They're ready to give it to you and you sit there fighting it. I'm going to make a lot of people angry today. I'm sorry. That's not my intent. I'm just telling it like it is, guys. When, when readers say, don't shoot the messenger, that's what it means. Don't get on the comments and say why they're wrong. Well, I've been listening to tarot for this amount of time. It still hasn't happened. I don't... Well, what are you doing to prevent that? Or what are you doing to get the reward? Just sitting there waiting for it to drop into your lap? It doesn't work that way, guys. You have to listen to your intuition. You have to take action. to get the reward. You can't just sit there. It's not going to fall from the skies and drop in your lap. It does not work that way. You control the rewards by your thoughts, the things that come from what you say, do. If you want them, say it's money you want to manifest. Spirit saying, what are you doing to take control of your finances? What are you doing to take control of your love life? What are you doing to take control? I'll tell you what you're doing when I send my messengers to you and they're, they're telling you how to manifest this and you're sitting there and you're fighting it. You're going, no, not my story. No, not for me. Not my situation. Not me, not me. Well, then why are you coming to tarot? Judgment. You come to tarot because you're seeking answers. And then when you're given the answers, when the universe is coming, shouting out the horns and all the angels are around you delivering these messages, sounding out the horn like I am today, that I have done every day. Do you know, guys, I think on YouTube I produce uh, five, six videos a day, daily, sometimes more. I don't know of another reader on YouTube that delivers more messages than I do. I probably have the smallest amount of subscribers the smallest amount of uh, views, but my messages come direct from source. Do you want the victory? I don't worry. I don't care. I'm here to deliver messages. You're blocking your blessings. That's the message. You are blocking the blessings, the rewards that the universe wants to give you. Not for every person. Some of you guys got this down pat. But uh, uh, today, I woke up. I didn't have money. Um, I've been offered very little. That's the messages that are coming through, guys. Well, who did that to you? Did the universe do that to you? Hell no, the universe didn't do that to you. The universe loves you. 
wants to hand you everything your heart desires. But we have this mentality, I have little. I only have one pentacle. Well, just saying, I love y'all. But it's your thoughts that are blocking this love. Your thoughts that are blocking the love that the universe wants to hand to you. Just by your thoughts. What you speak, what you say, what you think. And when you come on and give the tarot readers a hard time that are trying to give you, there's nothing more fulfilling than a reader that can offer you abundance or offer you the gifts of how to get the abundance or some directive of how to get it. Well, that's what I'm doing today. What you think, if you think small, you'll achieve small. That'll never happen for me. That's the truth. I've been waiting. You know how many years I've been waiting? First of all, I'm going to stop right there. If that's not enough evidence for you, I don't know what is. I got to tell you guys, I've had people that I've actually blocked on the channel because of their fooleries and their foolishness. Now, I had a character who said, um, unconditional love. I will wait and wait and wait and wait for my twin flame because I have unconditional love. Well, that's wonderful for you and I'm proud of you. But in that doing so, did you love yourself unconditionally? Are you like, it's a personal choice for everybody, but you know what? You can't sit on there and criticize other people because they didn't wait. You can't sit on there and criticize other people because they chose to move on in their lives. You know, it's a personal choice, guys. There's no right. There's no wrong. I'm happy for you if that's what you choose to do. I'm happy for you if you move on in your life because it's not up to me to decide. It's not even up for the universe to decide. It's up to you to decide how you want to live your life. It's up to you guys. And all I know is that if um, you're loving yourself unconditionally first, I don't care about no twin flame. Sorry. I'm loving the life that my Lord gave to me. Have my coffee, talk to you folks, love my kids, but I love myself enough to not like wallow up in my bed and roll up and, and you know, give up on life. I don't do that shit, man. I don't know, well, I know a lot of people do. It's real. Our feelings are real, guys. But it's what we tell ourselves. Now, does the universe want you to sit there in your bed wallowing up and living in sadness and depression? Hell to the no. No, not at all. So, I don't know. Get enlightenment. That's the truth. That's the answer. Enlightenment. That's the truth. The world. The world. The world. The world. Guys. Do you want to live in isolation? Or do you want to join the world? Even 
even when you're isolated, you know, <laughs> remember that movie Tom Hanks in Castaway? He lived in isolation. He's just a regular guy, a courier, right? And uh, he lives with the ball named Wilson that he talks to every day. You know, join the world. It's abundant out there, guys. You know, I don't care how you do that, if it's even a book or a song or anything. Join the world. Whatever that means to you. I'm quite comfortable in isolation, but I don't, like, just roll over and die there. I do work while I'm there in isolation. I'm working on my rewards. I'm working on my pentacles, my happy home, my happy family. I don't sit around and wait. Just living, guys. I am fulfilled. My wishes are already fulfilled. If I never do another a thing again in my life. I've lived a full life. I've seen wish fulfillment, guys. Like, I can't tell you enough. I've gone from rags to riches to rags to riches to rags to riches. Money don't buy you happiness. Just saying. You know, you're the, you're the boss of your own wish fulfillment. What fulfills you? Today, I'm just grateful to get out of bed, you know? Because <laughs> I, I love myself. I work on my empathic abilities. I work on the gifts that Spirit has given to me, the knowledge, the wisdom, the guidance. I'm not worrying about it. I worry about... Yeah, yeah. See? I don't worry about people that are angry you're angry you're angry who cares I'm happy <laughs> yeah I'm just the messenger right I send out messages every day every day guys I got more skeptics, I got people that say some pretty foolish things. I'm telling you, foolish messages. Does it discourage me? Sometimes, yes it does. But I still focus in on my work. That's my craft. And that's what I worry about, focusing in on my craft. Am I going to please all the people all the time? Hell no, but I'm going to please some of the people some of the time. But I don't wait for it to come get dropped in my lap. I work hard at it. Like I said, I don't know another reader on this channel that puts out more videos than I do. And you know what? Don't care. I work with spirit. My ships are come in every day. My ships come in every single day, guys. When I wake up and I'm here to give a message. Why? Just I stand in my own power. I empower myself. I don't wait for somebody else to do that for me, to hand it to me. I don't wait for, for handouts. I take action. I'm courageous. I'm strong. And I know many of you are. I don't wait for nothing to get handed to me because I know better. Nothing has ever been handed to me in my life. I've had to. That's the truth. I've had to make it happen. I've worked my ass off in my life harder than I ever should have worked. But in my own right, I'm abundant. So like I said, if I don't wake up tomorrow morning for whatever reason, 
I'd be glad I lived the life I lived. <laughs> Took the leap, guys. You want the abundance? You gotta take the the risk. You gotta be not skeptical of this offer. You can't sit and be wishy-washy. You can't sit there and be a skeptic and go, hmm. I'll believe it when I see it. You just defeated the purpose. Because the universe doesn't owe it to you. Stop being selfish. The universe owes you nothing. Not a dime. Not a nickel. Nothing. Zero. They don't owe you anything. Take control of your own wish fulfillment. Whatever that means to you. Be grateful what you have today. And you focus in on, look at all that happened to me. Look at all I've been through. Look at all the suffering I've did. The universe knows how much pain you've been through. The universe knows how much suffering that you've done. And they go, why are you suffering? Why do you put yourself in that position? Why do you keep wanting to be hurt? When you could be strong and courageous. You don't need to settle for ten swords. You don't need to go through ten... Uh, lessons. You don't need to go through all that pain. Get enlightened about the pain. Why you went through all that pain? I know why. Because we did not listen to the spirit, to the universe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to say that, Spirit. Mm -hmm. We have this attitude. I, I said I wasn't going to say it, but I can't avoid it. There it is. Seven of Pentacles. Look at all I worked for. Look at all my troubles. Look at all my toil. Um, hmm. It's like... It's like complete. I've had to fight for everything I've ever had. Well, we all do. This is the truth. You do have to fight for everything that you have. Because there's always somebody trying to take it from you. But you got to stand in your power. You got to. This is the truth. You, you got to cut out negative thinking. Things that do no longer serve you. Manifest your dreams, what you want. And that's how to do it. Stop worrying about uh stop worrying about what you don't have and stop start listening and trusting in your angels, your spirit team. They don't want to see you hurt. They've been nudging you, gentle nudging, I love you, I'm here with you. I want to hand you everything your heart desires. I know you're worthy. I know. But many get impatient. And they go, they look, manifesting with the angels. They don't want to see you hurt. They want you to manifest. You get that? To calm things out in your life. Smooth things out in your life. I'm just doing this today. Work with the angels. Work with your spirit guides. You cannot make this stuff up, guys. I'm not doing those reads to hurt anybody's feelings. I love you deeply. Universe loves you deeply. But stop being skeptics. If you want to be a skeptic, Keep it to yourself. Don't be like promoting it all over the place. 
be silent. Don't express it because many don't want to hear it. Manifest, manifest your fortune. You want to manifest fortune or do you want to manifest burdens? Attitude of gratitude. Do you want burdens and stress and talk about burdens and stress or work with the angels that will deliver you what your true purpose was in this life? To receive rewards, to receive abundance, to receive love, of being comfortable, calm, enlightened, individuals. enlightenment's where it's at i can't make this stuff up guys and that's that's all the reads i'm doing today i think i might i don't know i'm pretty uh adamant about this guys is being here mm. that's a new beginning a 19 card don't uh, fall back into uh, old ways of thinking and stuff like that just Reach forward, guys. Say what you mean. You know, you got to learn to say to the universe what you mean. Get your courage. Drop your pride. Your egos, your pride. <laughs> home. You're at home with the angels, guys. Don't. You know, they've been with you since you were born. How teachable are you? And cycles. Can't make it up. Guys, these messages that the universe is trying to tell you, how teachable are you? The universe is trying to guide you how to manifest what it is soever that you choose to manifest. But how teachable are you? How many cycles do you want to go through before you see that the angels have been trying to bring you all of this since you was a child? And we just didn't listen. Now it's time to receive enlightenment and stop worrying. Take the leap of faith to take action, to declare the victory over deception, over battles. Walk away from it because you're blocking your blessings and it's leading to this painful, painful endings every time. Because of these cycles that we get in, we don't, we're not in tune, guys. Enlightenment is the key to love or stress, to receive our blessings. And it's like we go through a breakup or something and we wait for messaging and we waiting for these messages these blessings to come in but we don't see that we ourselves are the manifestors we are the manifestors not the universe we manifest borrow from the universe what it is we need to get us through this life and uh 
Spirit wants to deliver. But we're blocking our blessings by not having seen how we're blocking it. Just want to change. I was going to do this read for Sag, but it's gone on so long. I think I'll do it just as a collective read, guys. And uh, take care. I know I'm delivering this message because I do love you. And the universe does love you. And they want to give you your, fulfill your wishes, your dreams. But you got to stop being so skeptical. If you're skeptical, you're blocking your blessings. And that's just the way the universe works. Be happy today. Smile for what you have. Be glad and grateful for the things that you have today. And know the universe has been with you since childhood. They've never left your side and they never will. That's just the way it is, folks. Take it or leave it. Just one reader's opinion, that's all. <laughs>